So Alexander Bublik and Daniel Medvedev, they're facing off in the first round of Rolling Arrows. Now, Bublik has had a decent clay court season, I would say. He made the quarterfinals of Madrid, where the condition, they suited his big hitting game, and he lost to Ruud. The first set was tight, but the second set, he couldn't quite get his best. He couldn't quite make it as tight, and he lost 5-7-6-1-6. But in the other clay court events, he didn't. He lost in the first round of Rome, the first round of Estoril, in Barcelona, I managed to win one match and lost to the Minor straight set. So, and in Monte Carlo, he lost in the first round. So he hasn't had the best clay court season so far. But that run to Madrid is surely something to think about. And he also is lucky because he's playing a player who has really is has struggled on clay. Now his opponent also hasn't had the best clay court season. He hasn't played a whole lot on clay. He's only played two tournaments on clay, but he definitely is capable as he did make the semis in in uh Monte Carlo last in 2019 he made the semis there so he is capable of playing on the clay but this year he hasn't fared well on it in Madrid he lost to Garen in, in, in three sets after beating Davidovich for Kina in Rome he lost to Karatev in two easy sets two six four six so he hasn't fared so well on the clay right now and he's gonna be hoping to get some Match practice here because he isn't playing so well. Now they have met before. They met once and Medvedev won that one straight set six four six zero. But they did meet in Russia in a challenger event and Medvedev won that one six two seven six. So I think that Bublik will win. I think that Medvedev isn't just good on the clay. I think he's struggling on the clay. I think that he much prefers hard courts. Both of them have been very vocal about how they don't like clay there. That they're not, not, not much of a clay guard player. So I'm going to pick Bublik to win this one in, I think it's going to be f four sets, but I think that Bublik will win this one in four sets. So Basilashvili and Lajevic, they're facing off in the first round of Rolling Girls. Now Basilashvili this year, he's been a little bit of a hit and a miss. He hasn't had the most consistent year. He's been in poor form, to be honest, after winning the the title in Munich. He lost in Madrid to Pair in the first round early. In Italy, he lost early as well. In Belgrade, also lost early. So it's tough to predict what version of him is going to turn up at any tournament. It's it's because sometimes he can do well, sometimes he can miss, and then he won't do as well. So it's tough to really say which version is going to come up. Livich hasn't really fared any better. He only snapped his losing streak just in Belgrade, but that was his home tournament. He beat, was able to beat two people. He beat Barankis and Shardy before falling to Martin, taking a set. Almost won that match, but he fell to Martin in three sets. But in, in the clay court swing, surprisingly, he actually had his best form in the hard court swing, where he defeated Daniil Medvedev. And also made the fourth round of the Australian Open. So that's surprising because he's mostly more of a clay court. He runs better on the clay court, but he actually had the best season on the hard court. So other than that, he's lost early. He lost early in Monte Carlo, in in the first version of Belgrade, in Munich, in Madrid, in Italy. In 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 the second edition, he snapped his losing streak, as I said before, and beat two players before losing to Martin three sets. Now, they're head to head. They have met before. I I know that, and they've met th four times before. And Bezalus really leads the head to head three one. They met twice on clay. And they split their meetings, and in the in the qualifying event in Belgium, Bezalus really won that one in three sets on the hard court. So this one is really tough to predict because this encounter I'm suggesting is going to be low quality. Both players are struggling for form. Both players are not really at the best. So it's going to be, a, I would say, a very low quality encounter. It may be nervy. There may be nerves in this one. It's not really going to be the highest, uh, the prettiest match. But I'm going to just side with Basilash really simply because of their head to head. I think that their head to head, that the Basilash really leads their head to head. And I think that that's what I'm going to go off of. But this one's really tough to predict. It could really go either way. But I'm going to pick Brazilers really to win this one in four sets, simply just because of their head-to-head -head matches and just because Brazilers really leads the head-to-head -head 
encounters, 3-1, 4-1 including the non-official match. So Basel is really enforced in my prediction. So Casper Rude and Bryn Wapair, they're facing off in the first round of the French Open. Now Rude this year has had a really great clay court season. He won the title in Geneva recently, defeated Shabavolov in the finals. So he has had a really great clay court season. He also made the semis of two Masters tournaments. Semis of Madrid and the semis of Monte Carlo. So he's in great form right now. He's playing extremely well. And when he's in great form, he definitely can trouble. And he's his, his loop beforehand really works well on the clay court so he's actually the best on the clay it'll be interesting to see if he can make a deep run especially knowing that the defending finalist dominic team is out he'll probably have a shot at making a good run here if he plays well now his opponent in contrast has had one of his worst seasons so far he's only notched two wins on the main tour he's been playing he's not played well and he's actually not really put that much effort he's been tanking matches He's not really been in, at his best form. He's actually, in fact, in his worst form. So, he's going to hope that maybe he can turn it around. But it's going to be tough because he's playing Casper Rudd. But he always does like playing in front of the French crowds. So maybe that will fuel him to do better. We have to wait and see. Now, they have met before. They've met once officially. And Rudd has the head to head lead. That was in 2020 on Hamburg. Rudd won that one. 6420 retired, so it was a retirement. And in the qualifying match in Madrid in 2019, Rude won that one 6161. Now, my prediction I think Rude wins this one in straight sets. Pair can definitely make it tough if he's playing well because he does love the French crowd, he does love playing in front of in, in his home slam. But I think that Rude will win this because I think that Rude is just the better player. But I think it's going to be three tight sets, but I think that Rude is going to get the job done in three. So Lorenzo Sonnegill and Lloyd Harris, they're facing off in the first round of Roland Garros. Now Sonnegill this year has had a great year this year, especially. He's been in great form so far. In Rome, he managed to beat Dominic Cini, he beat Andre Rublev, some great wins from him. He lost to Djokovic, but took a set, so impressive. He also managed to do well in Sardinia. He won that title, won the title there, reached the final, defeated Laszlo Gira in three sets. So he's playing extremely well so far. Sonnego and he will definitely be confident of his chances going deep. He's definitely one of the dangerous lower ranked seeds, so he's gonna be one that he's to watch out for. Now his opponent Lloyd Harris has also had a solid year. Not so much on the clay courts, but it's kind of cooled down when he switched to clay, but he has had a solid year. He had a final appearance in Dubai. Uh Ron has seen appearance in Doha. So he is playing well, and he also defeated Grigor Dimitrov in the first round of Madrid. So he is playing extremely well so far, and he definitely can do some damage if he continues to play really well. Now, Harris and Sonigo, they've never met, so they have a 0-0 head-to-head. So my prediction, I think that I'm going to pick Sonigo to win this in straight. I think that Harris is just not at his... At Sonny Goes level, especially on the clay. I think that Harris would have had a chance maybe on a different series, but I think that on the clay courts, I think Sonny Goes gets the nod. He had an amazing run in Rome. He's He had a fourth run appearance here last year. He's very good on the clay. So I think that Harris will. Sorry, I think that Sonny Goes is going to get the win here in straight sets.